Hey guys, welcome back to Gary J Motorsports YouTube channel. So I've needed this part for a while, or this tool I guess for a while, but I just haven't had the need to uh, for one this big. So today, instead of making a part, we're gonna make a tool to make a part. So we're gonna make a press bender. So I've got Harbor Freight's 20 ton press that I use all the time, and we're gonna take this raw pieces of material and make a bender out of it. So this piece right here is just going to be our flat uh, base plate. And then this is going to be cut down in half. We're going to use that for the uh, upper portion. This is going to be welded to the pole and this will slide up and down nice and smooth. That will allow this piece here, which will actually be our part that bends the piece of material. And then we will cut this in half and there will be two pieces on here that will be our 90 degree piece that uh, actually makes the shape the bend that we're looking for uh, so I've got a little bit of um, stuff to do we'll get this cut down into the right shape we'll get or the right length we'll get these cut down into the right length and then uh, we will go ahead and we're going to put a bevel on each of the sides here that way it comes just about to a nice little point and uh, gives us a good clean bend instead of just the blunt edge of this piece. So yeah, I'm going to get a few of these pieces cut up and uh, into the right shape or length and uh, be right back. Alright guys, so we've got everything cut up to length, uh, or at least the length that we want it. Um, I'll put them in the description below, I'll go over them real quick, but I'll actually put a list in the description below if you want it. So we went and cut our uh, three inch flat bar that's three eighths inch thick down to 20 inches. That's gonna fit in between the top here. We put each of these sleeves, the tube sleeves, cut them down to two inches. And those are gonna go, gonna be welded flat into the edge there. And then when the press pushes down, we'll push down and it'll bend the piece that we've got set in here. And so these are two inches. Each of the uh, three quarter inch outside diameter, um, just uh, rod, uh, is cut to six inches long, both of those. These are just three quarter inch, uh, just over three quarter inch inside diameter springs. They're roughly three and a half, four inches long. Um, and then this piece right here is one inch outside diameter, uh, one two oh wall. Uh, so it's just 0.76 inside diameter. That way the uh, 0.75 um, rod slides through it real nicely. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to bevel this edge. And then we're going to start getting things mocked up and welded together. So back in a second. Alright guys, so next step we're going to do is get the base set up. That way we can work off the base and know that the base is level for the next couple of steps that we're going to do. So, I've got it pretty close, but what we want to do, if you're using a five inch wide piece on the, uh, in the two inch angle pieces in the middle like we are, it should be roughly an inch and an eighth on the sides and on each end roughly about an inch. So we're close. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a little piece Put it on the top, clamp it down, that way they don't really move anywhere while we're doing our welding. So, you'll get this clamped down, then we'll just do a quick little check, make sure it hasn't gone anywhere. Looks good everywhere. Alright, so, we'll get our welder set up. Alright, so the part we're going to do here is, we are going to go ahead and just weld on the outside of our two angle pieces. You don't want to obviously weld on the inside, you're not going to have a good uh, 90 degree angle in the middle. So, get these welded out.
Okay. All right, so that is our base done up. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to let this cool down for just a minute and we will set up for the actual piece that will do the bending. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so the base is now cooled down. So we are getting set up for the actual part that's going to come down and bend the material. So I've got our uh, end pieces set up here where they are pretty close. Um, this is on a 90, these are there. So what we're gonna do is, this is the point here that's gonna come down. Uh, so we wanna weld these to the other side. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw on the welding helmet. I'm gonna square these up and tack these into place on each side, and then check to make sure they're square and go ahead and weld it all up. All right, so we're square. We hold it in place while we tack this. four look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and weld these on and then we really just have one more part is to welding our tubes or our rods that are going to go through the tubes into place on the base plate. So let me get to this. We'll be right back. All right guys so last step now that we've got our ends of the tube put on we have got it sitting here and uh, we've got the tubes slid down with the shafts that it's going to slide up and down on. And uh, it's rested here. I've got it set there pretty close. Like we might have to move it just a touch once we start uh, tagging it in. But I'm going to hold it level, or as level as I can, put a couple of tacks on it, and then we will go ahead and uh, finish weld it up. Yeah, do that. Somewhat difficult. I get attack in there. All right, so I am going to let that cool down for a second, and then I'm just going to make sure everything slides up and down real nice before I go ahead and uh, finish weld everything. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so you just saw uh, finish welding the uh, actual rods. We have cut our springs down that we're going to use to what I believe is going to be the right height. And then we'll slide everything back together, test it out. So, there it is. And if I give it a full pressing, it presses it all the way down. Allows it to pop back up. So, there you go. We're all done. We are going to uh, be bending up some plate here in a little while. So I think uh, once we get some plate ready to bend up, we will add a little clip showing how we've done it. But there you go. That's the steps. Make your own press break. Easy peasy. All right, guys, so I just grabbed a piece of uh, sheet metal from the scrap pile and it isn't anything uh, super big I think it's 20 or 22 gauge um, so it's not gonna be super hard for this to bend up obviously but you get the idea as to what it will do so you get down there we're pretty close to 90 right there then pop itself back up and I had already taken and put another 90 in it, so there you go. 
Bends it up real nice for you. Yeah. Make yourself a press break. I think we've got a total of uh, 50 bucks-ish or so in it. Um, like I said, I will put a, uh, a list of everything that we've used for it in the description. That way, if you want to make your own, you can uh, make your own. So thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next video.